the last few months, the HELP team has been investigating next day construction following multiple claims of poor workmanship and terrible communication. Customers from two different projects reached out to us asking for help. We tried to include the construction company to get their side of the story, but got nowhere. Then last week, just a few hours before the story aired, the owner of Next Day Construction decided to get involved. Uh, we, we apologize for any inconvenience or stress that we caused anybody, but uh, it, uh, it's, been a, it's been a growing pain here, and we'll just, uh, we'll just move forward. After weeks of back and forth phone calls and text messages, Edmund Moore, the owner of Next Day Construction, responded to claims that his company has been messing up projects, then never fixing them. It was a learning year, and, and, and we held on to the reins the best we could. And unfortunately, uh, a few customers do slip by and, and, and you know, are unhappy. Our investigation started in early February after Don Sihas of Muskegon reached out to us. They never redid these deck boards. They're all loose. They screwed the flashing right to my vinyl windows. There's exposed wood all the way through there. Sihas showed us the receipt where Next Day Construction was paid $10,000 in December 2021 to install new siding and a new roof. They promised they'd have it on before winter. I waited, I waited, nothing happened. He says it was more than four months later, in April of 2022, when the work finally began. My neighbors call them next year construction. One of my buddies stopped by and he says, this thing's all wrong. He says, your corners don't match, nothing is right about this job. And we ended up pulling the whole thing back off and installing it again. The work then shifted to his roof. Sihas says he paid next day five grand yeah, more, yeah. but again he says the work was far from impressive. The first day I was dried in, it rained. There was puddles all through this house. Unfortunately, in roofing, man, we, uh, we get one of them every once in a while. We do, uh, what did we do last year, 1,400 projects. Um, and I think we, we probably had 10 or 15 leaks all year. And Sihas, who's disabled, says the renovations were supposed to make his home safer, but he says the house is in worse shape now than it was before the project began. So has there been any positive experience with this company? None. It, it's a gift it keeps on giving. What happened there with Don? It took a long time to get to his project, um, and it all started with the sales guy. Um, but at the end of the day, it's my fault. Uh, the, you know, the process broke. It allowed it just to sit there, and, um, you know, then the... Siding started, and, and then next thing you know, our project, got, one of our guys got sick. He goes out, and our, you know, Colton, another guy that used to work here, um, he, uh, he was involved. It's almost too much communication. He gave us a quote. More than an hour away in Morley, Elsa and Joe Barroca also hired Next Day Construction for a roofing project totaling $7,000. We had gutters put up on the house back mm -hmm. in May 28th. And those guys also do roofing, and they looked at the roof, and they were saying something's not right with your roof. There's, you know, it was buckling and mm -hmm. starting to peel up, pull the nails up. It looked like little waves up there. They say the next day construction workers also destroyed their yard. They smashed all my lawn ornaments and everything in there. They didn't care. They were stomping on it. I had to ask them several times to stop walking on my flowers, but it was too late at that time. She says Moore reimbursed them for the damages. He gave me the 2000 But the other issues were never addressed. I kept calling. I've got a record how many times I've called, and he's just, I'll call you back, and he never calls you back. So they communicated originally with, with again, Colton. He's really good at his job, really bad at trying to do everybody else's job um, on top of his, and it, you know, it causes problems. Again, too much communication, too many people, too many hands in the pot. One of the issues, Moore says, the Barocas had purchased their own supplies rather than allowing his team to use their warranty-backed materials. We're master shingler through certainty, and we are um, we're master elite through GAF. They're our main they're our main manufacturer, so that's why we use their products. Is because when they come out and something's wrong, they fix it. But the Barocas say the shingles were not the issue. In fact, they sent some off for testing to see if the product was at fault, and the manufacturer responded in this letter stating the product is not defective, it was just installed incorrectly. Is it important to you to always keep the customer happy? Absolutely. Um, at the end of the day, if with business, you know, that a lot of people, it, it becomes about the money. Um, it can't be. Without the customer, you have no money. So um, if it ever does that, we should, we should just shut the doors and, and go home. So what happens now? Moore says he wants to make things right with all his customers, even if it means redoing the projects. But the Barocas say 
They have no desire to continue working with Next Day Construction. They just want their money back, which they estimate to be around $17,000. As for Sihas, he's hoping more will come onto his property so he can see firsthand the issues, admit the work is done wrong, then foot the bill for repairs. We will stay in communication with everyone involved and let you know when there's finally a conclusion.